guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host, Shane. I'm so sorry uh, that I haven't uploaded any new videos in the past couple of weeks. I've been spending time with my family who lives way out of town. They've been in town visiting me, and so I've spent all week kind of visiting with them, and I've not had any extra time to upload any content, but I promise you I'm going to be back on a regular schedule uh, starting today, and so you should expect lots of content from my channel. Today we're going to look at the Jelly Belly ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. This is probably one of the most stable ROMs uh, as far as Jelly Bean AOSP is, con is concerned for the Galaxy Nexus on Verizon. Uh, it's also one of the most popular Jelly Bean ROMs. Uh, it's up to 1 million views on Roots Wiki, and so I would say it is pretty popular. Uh, probably a high percentage of Galaxy Nexus users are on this ROM. Uh, really, there's not much to it though. It is purely AOSP 4.1.1 stock. And you can add some custom modifications. If you head to the link in the description, you can grab the ROM and the G apps, and also all types of mods. Uh, you can do battery percentage mods, you can do clock mods, you can do a reboot menu. There's, like I said, there's several mods. I think there's even a lock screen mod uh, that you can add. But Jake Day just really wanted to keep this clean and simple and as speedy and fast and fluid as possible. He wasn't trying to bog it down with extra settings. Uh, maybe settings will come in the future. I'm not really sure what he has planned for it. I just know that this is one of the most solid, stable ROMs available. And like I said, it's not bogged down with extra settings. Uh, so really, there is no customization at all on this ROM. You're just getting pure Jelly Bean uh, for the Galaxy Nexus. So we'll go into settings. And we'll go to About Phone. And I'll show you guys that it is running Android 4.1.1. And right now I'm on Jelly Belly 5.5. It's up to 5.6 as of yesterday. Um, and it's also running the stock Android kernel. Now this has been tweaked and optimized. So it will be a little faster uh, than stock Jelly Bean. And it's also going to have a little bit better battery life than if you were just running purely stock. Uh, so it does have some tweaks and optimizations, but other than that, there's really no customization whatsoever. But I just wanted to show you guys this because I have been running this now for uh, pretty much, I guess it's been about two weeks, and I've not experienced any reboots. I haven't found any bugs in this ROM at all. So everything has worked perfectly from data to voice uh, to text messaging to Bluetooth to Wi-Fi. I, I, like I said, I've not found any issues whatsoever. Uh, the browser is working perfectly. Everything on here is just absolutely perfect. I uh, could not find any problems at all. Uh, so from here, we will go ahead and install the ROM. So you want to go ahead and power down. Um, and then we'll boot into Team Win Recovery Project. Go ahead and check out the link in the description. Download the ROM itself, and then also download the Jelly Bean G apps. So you're going to want to hold both volume buttons and the power until the bootloader comes up. Then you're going to scroll over to Recovery Mode. Select that with power. So grab the ROM and the G apps, and any of the modifications that you want, go ahead and grab those as well. You'll flash all of those in the same session. So as soon as TeamWin Recovery boots up, you're just going to wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe. Now if you're coming from Ice Cream Sandwich, it's a good idea to go ahead and choose system and uh, format the system as well. I'm coming from another Jelly Bean ROM, so you don't have to do that if you're already on Jelly Bean. And you would swipe to wipe the cache, swipe to wipe Dalvik, and you go to install. Now you're looking for the newest version, Jelly Belly 5. whatever, 5.6, um, and then the G app. So you go ahead and select the Jelly Belly first, swipe to flash, and then the G apps, Jelly Bean, swipe to flash. That's going to take about five minutes when you finish. You'll just reboot the phone and you go to system. And that will reboot. Now this does include the Nexus Jelly Bean boot animation. Uh, like I said, there's not a ton of customization. There is an AOKP, um, and I think they, all, they actually do have some Jelly Bean previews that are out. So it's not even in beta yet, it's still in preview. But AOKP should be out uh, full-fledged for the Galaxy Nexus soon. CyanogenMod 10 is out uh, for this phone. So you do have some other options for Jelly Bean that do include some more customization options. Uh, but for me, until AOSP is worked out and everything is just totally straight on there and all the bugs are worked out, this stable ROM has been working fine for me. This has been my daily driver. Obviously, I'm going to flash the other ROMs because you guys know that I like to test those for you. Um, but for me, this ROM has been the most solid 
as far as stability and performance. But guys, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. I do lots of Twitter giveaways, and um, I'll post information on news that hits my website or upcoming videos and things of this nature will all go to my Twitter handle. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe to this channel for future videos, and if you like this, Please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me more than you know. Leave comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.